There she goes. She's trying. <laughs> she's trying, but she's gotten so fat, she slipped right back down. Oh, poor reason. So a lot of people have been asking us, why haven't we done hamster vlogs in a while? It's very simple, because we actually moved... Hello, Raisin. We actually moved the hamsters downstairs. And honestly, they're usually awake when we're asleep and vice versa. They're not awake a lot when we're down here. And so we, oh, you nibbled me. How dare you? <laughs> she nibbled on me. We're usually not around, or they're very active, but it's late at night. Ow. Oh, she ah. got gotcha. you. <laughs> she bit you. <laughs> sometimes they do that. Sometimes they bite and sometimes they it lick. Didn't hurt that oh, much. she got me. How dare you? Do I look like a snack? Do I look a delicious snack? How dare you? And tickle her, watch this. Ah, I tickle your fat body. I tickle your body. Oh, oh no, I tickle you. <laughs> what a knucklehead. Oh, she's gonna eat the wood, look. She, that's what it is, she's feeling, she's probably teething. So she wants something to munch on, so she's eating the wood, which is what she's supposed to do. What do we have going on down here? Oh no. The nose of cinnamon. The nose of the cinnamon emerges. She's down here rustling about in here. There's her head. See it? Hi, Cinnamon. Hello. You gonna come say hi to the camera? You gonna come say hi? Hmm? You gonna bite me too like Raisin did? What are you gonna do? Hmm? Eh, she's just gonna sit there and probably tunnel a little bit. Oh, Raisin, look at you munching away. So yeah, so we really haven't done any hamster vlogs because we're not really around. Like, we, they used to be up in Leanna's office. And then I would just run by with the camera whenever they were awake. Because she'd be in there all the time. Oh, is she awake now? There she is. But now they're down here, so we don't have cameras with us when they're awake. And usually it's late at night when they wake up. So we don't get an opportunity to really film them that much. So I thought, ah, we had the camera down here for something else. We'll pull it out tonight. We'll see what they're doing. She already went back in the tube, by the way. It was like two seconds. Oh, you're grabbing the, the big chubby <laughs> raisin. She didn't want to let go of the wood. She's like, no. Look how chubby she got. And this is a problem. Raisin, keep in mind, we feed them the same food, right? <laughs> raisin eats twice as much as cinnamon. And cinnamon apparently knows how to have a good regimen and not overeat. And raisin, look at raisin. She's fat. And she, look at this, look at this. Her cheeks are always fully, I can feel the food. It's fully stuffed with seeds and food inside of her body. <laughs> I don't know why she always has so much food in her body. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so she's always chubby. So, I don't know. That's what happened to Raisin. Like I said, Cinnamon doesn't do that. Cinnamon stays nice and skinny while Raisin gets fat. And it's funny because they do both still run in the wheels. And Raisin actually, which is really funny, Raisin almost never takes the walkways that we built them. She always climbs the side of the cage to get up. So she, it's not like she's not getting exercise. It's just that she's just storing and or eating too much food. <laughs> you nut. Raisin, you nut. Munch, munch, munch. She's going to fall down. Look, she's going to fall down the stairwell. Raisin. Oh, no. Why can't you just eat it right side up? <laughs> that part's the tasty part. Yeah, you can eat it crooked. The, the crooked, tasty part. Instead of just eating it straight like a normal hamster. <laughs> oh, Raisin. Well, watch this. Sometimes what I like to do, right? I pick her up. Come here, Raisin. I pick her up. I pet her a little bit. And I say, it's time for a rousing hamster suplex. <laughs> because she's so chubby she struggles on her back for a little bit but then she gets back up and then she goes right back to munching she doesn't even care she's like oh, oh dare you suplex me oh dare you suplex me well you used to be able to flip over easily now you're a chubs in fact look at all the seeds on the floor here the mess they made and again, it's not like we overfeed them. Look, it's not like she has a ton of food. There's not a ton of food in there. And we give them greens all the time. It's not like we give them treats. We can only give them treats one to two times a week tops. Usually we give them greens, a big bowl of like kale and carrots and stuff. You know, healthy stuff they're supposed to be eating for a healthy diet. Yeah, look at her. The blob. I call her Jabba the Hamster. <laughs> Bring me seed, Jabba. <laughs> Oh, Raisin, you're more like a swelled, juicy grape than a shriveled raisin now. 
Oh, well. So that's what's up with the hamsters. Not much. They're chilling. They like it down here a lot more. It's hotter upstairs in the office where they used to be. They like it down here a lot. And over the winter, they definitely liked it because it was cooler in here. You know, during the summer, I don't know. The summer, typically, it's actually cooler here in the dining room. So they might like that, too. If you remember last year, they used to sleep up in here. They used to fight to sleep in here because I guess it was the highest area. It was probably had the least heat. Now I'm curious to see what they'll do next year because this, this winter, the whole winter, they've been down here in the tubes or in the bedding. So, All right, Raisin, you want to say goodbye? Raisin. No, she just wants to eat. Raisin. Oh, the cinnamon's coming. Oh, cinnamon. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Now we're going to have trouble. Watch. Because whenever these two get, they start meeping and arguing. They're going to argue. Hi, cinnamon. Are you going to argue for the camera? Here we go. This is how it starts. Ready? They're going to argue. See? I told you. I knew it. Little meep. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, cinnamon. Look. A close-up. A close-up for the camera. Here, sniff me. Don't clean your butt. <laughs> you sniff me, then you clean your butt. Gee, thanks. <laughs> hey, look at the size difference between the two. Seriously, raisin is twice the size of cinnamon. She eats twice as much. I don't know what else to do. Again, they both have the same food. It's not like we're feeding one differently than the other. And one, if it gets bad, if raisin does get like insanely overweight, we're going to separate them. We actually have an extra cage built and everything. Oh, cinnamon, you came upstairs. Hello. Oh, you going to kiss the camera? You kiss it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That was silly. That was silly, Cinnamon. That was silly. Oh, you silly hamster. Oh, now she nibbles me. They both want to bite me tonight. No one wants to kiss or lick. They want to bite. Because I got the camera on them. They're like, Yeah, cameras. No. No, Pippa Ritzy. Bite your finger. Oh, you. All right. Oh, now she goes to bite to eat the wood. Good. Good. They're both teething. All right. Good night, hamsters. Whoa. Careful there. <laughs> Good night, hamsters. Hamsteris Muncheris. A visit with the hamsters. We hope you enjoyed it. Oh my god, that's cute as hell. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe we'll bop in from time to time to see what they're up to next. Oh my god. Cinnamon. <laughs> oh my god.